Hey what's guys, it's Sam Paradox and welcome to a quick commentary. This commentary is going to be about 5 minutes long as you can see. And the gameplay in the background is 46 and 5 I believe is on on Yemen with a MSMC, with OP MSMC as I call it. Um, with silencer and grip. And yeah, I don't really want to talk about the gameplay because I'm a bit over COD now. <laughs> And I'm just waiting for the, for the map pack. So this is what I'm going to be talking about, guys. Are you excited for the map pack? Personally, I've when Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 is now coming out, um, their map packs, I, the, ten, the only thing I tend to look for is the zombies. The zombies is a huge part of Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 for me. And the, um, the Treyarch franchise mainly. It's just... Zombies is such a huge thing about map packs and the, and the whole game is such a huge part of the game nowadays. I remember World at War, it wasn't really such a huge thing, but now it's come more and more and it's just like, it's, makes, it's at least half of the game for me and for zombie players obviously it's going to be most of the game. I'm actually a multiplayer player, um, but I used to be a zombie player. And you know, zombies is such a good thing and it's the main thing I look for, I don't really give a crap about the maps. Um, but they're obviously good to play. On Black Ops 1, I believe, I, in my opinion, the multiplayer maps are actually really, really good. And I really did enjoy them, especially for Search and Destroy. I did like them for Search and Destroy. And then Black Ops 1, I used to play Search and Destroy a load. So they were pretty good for me. I especially enjoyed the, um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was the one where the doors come up and down. It was start with an S, I can't remember what it was called, but that one was quite fun for me. And I hope they kind of do the same sort of thing in, in these maps. I can't seem to remember what they're called, but um, they. I haven't really. I didn't actually really look at them, I was just looking for the zombies really. But the multiplayer maps, you know, hopefully they'll be good. And most YouTubers like me are obviously going to buy them and get the season pass. Which is another question I'd like to bring up, guys. Are you guys going to buy the season pass? Because it's not going to be as much of a benefit in Black Ops 2. I know you get them. Um, I think you save like two pound off here in England, um, which kind of sucks, really. You know, it, it's obviously a benefit, but you don't get as much as benefit to, for example, Call of Duty Elite as you got in Monopoly Three, where you got all the map packs and then you got the actual Elite services, the full Elite servers where you can have a clan and everything. Um, on Black Ops 2, it's not as essential, but I probably will be getting it. Um, if not, game share with me, man, as most people used to do. <laughs> Every single time a map pack comes out, the first thing that I get asked as soon as I play the map is like, "Hey, can you game share? Um, what's your password?" and like stuff like that is the most annoying thing. But I understand why people would do it because you know, um, who want to spend like 13 quid? I think it is. Whereas you can just get it free from your mate, but I tend to not do it because um, me and my brother kind of always like share the map packs. You know, if one of us buys it, the other person will download it off onto their PS3 because they have separate PS3s. So um, that's probably what I'll be doing. But as soon as, because my brother tends to buy it, considering he's 22, so he obviously is working and he has a lot more money than me, so he can spend money on that kind of stuff. And then I tend to just get it off him. And then I always get asked for it, and I can't give it to him considering it's my brother's account. So <laughs> I always get asked for that. It's so frustrating. But the only time I ever ask for it is if even my brother hasn't bought it, or um, or no, I'm I'm like a he's like a really good mate to me, and um, I just really need it. Or if I need to try and make a video about it or something, and I need to test it out. I just, this is what I did in Black Ops One. I got the last map pack because I need to make a video about it. That was on my old account though. <laughs> Most of you guys probably didn't see that video. Because they're new on my new account. But yeah guys, the last thing I want to talk about, I'm pretty much done about the backpack and season pass and things like that. The last thing I want to talk about is the video that I put up about me jumping in the snow. Um, it just seemed to be doing well with you guys. You know, It's probably my best received view. I think it's, ha I think it's had the most likes I've ever had. And... Um, but not as many views, but the views are just going up. Got to like 500 views in one day, which is pretty awesome. I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. <laughs> I just want to see that get to 1k views, and I'll be so happy. And I may do a second one if there's still snow outside. At the moment, there's a bit more slush, but if it starts snowing again, I'll probably make another one, like a part two. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. If you didn't enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more videos from me, you know where to click. Um, I have been Sarah Paradox, I'm going to leave you the last 10 seconds of the gameplay, and um, I hope you all like boobs.
because I do big old boobies. <laughs> See you guys.